ignore this. Hey guys. Okay, so I wanted to preface this video by letting you know that this was an epic fail. <laughs> so if you are looking for some sort of mood boosting, forced positivity video, this isn't it. But I want you guys to watch to the very end because I did learn a ton this week and there is a message after all of this. So if you too struggle with anxiety, if you struggle with regulating your emotions, maybe watch to the end because I am feeling so much better. So, so, so much better. So with that being said, enjoy the video. <laughs> Hey, hey, Casey Ray here. Please ignore the washing machine noise in the background. I'm sorry, we have dirty clothes here. Anyway, for this week's video, I'm really excited and also kind of nervous because for this week, I'm gonna try my honest, is this the, like the Boy Scout symbol? I'm gonna try my, I'm gonna try my best to remain positive for an entire week. Yes, this is a, another happy experiment where I try different things to become happier and it may work and it may not and we see if it improves our life. I explained all this in the last one. So, link it below. I wanted to do this video because I, would you believe, I'm not the most positive thinker. I'm working on it. I do think that there are many happy benefits for remaining positive in all or most situations. There is a whole side of the law of attraction and what you speak out loud or your energy that you are admitting, admit, emitting comes back to you. Um, I don't know that I subscribe to that. I don't know if the universe is controlling all of this. I don't know if that's true. I do believe in the higher power, obviously, God being the higher power. I'm not sure if he's sitting up there just granting wishes. I don't think I believe that. I do think there is a lot of truth to what energy you put out there comes back to you because obviously, if you are being kind of jerky, you're not gonna make people happy and they're probably gonna be kind of jerky back to you. That's common sense. Whether it goes further than that, I don't know. I'm not pretending to know. Whether I can say, I live in a bigger house and it happened, I don't, I don't know that I believe that. But I definitely think that having a more positive outlook can only improve your life. I am very much an emotional sponge, which is why this is probably gonna be really difficult for me, I'll be honest, because if somebody is being all down in the dumps, I'm probably gonna suck that up just, and I'm gonna be all down in the dumps too. And I don't love that about myself. I wanna be in control of my own emotions, so I'm gonna try and just try my best to not go there. Now, obviously, we are allowed to have emotions. We are entitled to get bent out of shape every now and then. But the key is not to stew in it, not to just sit in the negativity and just make soup with it. We're not going to do that, okay? I have a tendency to go there. But that's why this is challenging and we are going to be positive patty. We are going to be a happy camper all week. Maybe. Wish me luck. Right now though, I have something to be very positive about and I'm super excited. Oh, hello, exposure. Hello. That's not gonna be a problem anymore. It's not makeup. I don't know why it's in this box. All right, you ready to see? We're gonna unbox ya. That accent, I have no idea. Oh my god, oh my god, I got carried away. I'm so happy. It came in a bag. I got a new camera. I got a camera. I got a camera. I got a camera. I don't know what that was. Oh my gosh. No more vlogging on the phone. And I got all this other stuff. I have no idea what this is. Obviously, it is not brand new. It's not a brand new, this. It's not a brand new camera. Um, I got it used on eBay. Cool, cool, cool. 
Okay, let's turn it. I'm so used to holding my pop socket though that I feel like it needs a handle. Anyway, I'm gonna play with my camera for a while. Bye for now. Wow. I have a tutorial going. Wow. Okay, so shh, hush, lady. Hush. Okay, so this is um low light. I'm sorry, I'm very much looking at the screen and not here. I'm gonna try my best not to do that. But I'm just checking it out because I can see back here is blurry and my face is really in focus. Yay. And it's really low light in, in my house. I'm standing by the window now. Yes, queen, yes. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you really quick um, and I'm gonna continue playing with this because it's awesome. I'm really scared I'm gonna drop this thing. Okay, ouch, ow, that didn't hurt. So I'm gonna go pick up Grayson. Today is the first day of school and I'm really anxious to see how the first day of seventh grade was. Hey dude, how was your day? It was good? You like my camera? Mm -hmm. What'd you say? You said you dyed your hair, didn't you? How'd you notice? Does it look different? It does. Does it look good? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Yes, ma'am, I need one s'mores donut, and also I have a coupon for a free scoop. I'd like to get the caramel macchiato, please. What size caramel macchiato? What school book? I, I'm not sure it says. Hang on. It says regular. These are, these are hello, it's, have you run them up? Ma'am? Go ahead, ma'am. It says free regular scoop. Okay, so I guess that's one scoop. So one scoop at a s'mores donut? Yes. Drive around. Thank you. What kind of s'mores donut? What else? Regular scoop. Caramel macchiato. Do I keep on to that? I do. Sorry, you it, it says regular. This part is ice cream scoop. Yes, that's what you I want. You scoop? Uh -huh. Which ice cream The you caramel want? macchiato. Ice cream? We don't have. I just Googled it. Says, Please continue the caramel macchiato ice cream. Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Oh, uh, okay. We had it, but... Okay, what about the Oreo and cake? No, we can just... Let me just get, like, butter pecan. Butter pecan. 118. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're fine. I'm being difficult. I'm sorry. You say caramel macchiato, so think that you want a caramel macchiato. I drink. No, yeah, I, I, I see that was confusing. I'm sorry. That looks pretty good. Good? What are you saying? I have to fill all this out? First day of school is good, but for you guys, it's not. So, what you're saying is I got a lot of homework? Grown up homework. Yay. This week I'm supposed to be positive. Positive. positive? Supposed to remain positive. You're doing a real good job. In all situations. You're doing a real good job of that. <laughs> I'm trying really hard, but this paperwork is like making me not want to be very positive. Well, ask, let me ask you a question that's going to make you extremely positive and happy. What do you want for dinner? I don't want to. I don't want, I don't want to do it. You know, this is my least favorite thing to answer. I was going to say, do you guys want to eat taco soup? Kinda like 95 degrees outside. I would eat taco soup. We've been eating tacos a little too much though. Like actual tacos. Can you say taco again? Taco. Good morning, it is day two of being positive. I wanna be completely honest. Yesterday didn't do great. <laughs> The first day of school is always a really stressful day because there's just a lot of go, go, go and a lot of paperwork to fill out. I got ill like quite a lot <laughs> yesterday and I don't know, I'm gonna try really hard to do better today. So with that being said, I'm going to head to work now. I'm gonna try my best to be very positive. I wanted to check back in with you guys really quick because I just got off the phone with a family member and I'm not gonna say who and I'm not gonna say what the call was about, but I just wanna say, I mean, I didn't say anything, I wasn't negative, but when someone just unloads on you, 
and like I said earlier I'm an emotional sponge it's like really difficult to not suck that up I know that you're family and you're supposed to be there for someone but in this particular situation it's always the same thing and you try and give advice but they don't take the advice so virtually you're just like the dumping ground it would be one thing if I could just hear them out and let it roll off of my back but it genuinely like gets me in a weird place so I don't know <sighs> I don't know and it's not somebody that I can just like write off like it's you know, maybe I'm being a jerk. I don't know. But I'm heading to work and I'm going to try turn this frown upside down because we're happy. We're positive. If you are so overwhelmed with the world, you're experiencing emotional flooding, any type of emotional flooding, anger, positivity, mania, despair, confusion. And all you want to do is you want to sit in your bed and put the blanket over your head and not talk to anybody and just go down into your dark cave of introversion and despair. What you should do in that situation is act opposite of what your emotion is telling you to do. Today's been a weird day. Can't really pinpoint it. Can't really say for sure um, what was so bad about it. Everyone at the salon seemed a little weird. Not to me, but just in general. Everyone actually commented that the energy was just kind of off. And we are all entitled to have off days. It's just strange that it all happened like simultaneously. Like everyone, it, I don't know. This whole week is honestly been that way which is funny that I'm doing this positivity challenge on a week like this I actually contemplated just scratching the video um because like I've done two days now and both days have been kind of crappy and I feel like I've been able to maintain a positive energy and outlook on most of my other videos but it's like this one um when that's the goal like i can't do it i do think i'm gonna go through with the video because this is real life and obviously you can't just flip a switch and be positive be happy i did want to say though that after watching that video and i've watched it before but i just like again i've been really feeling sorry for myself and mopey since I got home and I wanted to watch something that was going to help me get out of that so I forgot that tip the act opposite tip and I will admit that <laughs> this is going to make me sound insane but like I'm feeling kind of down right now so putting a smile on my face forcing myself to smile whether that's fake or not I don't know but it did kind of help so i'm gonna try and smile a little more tonight and maybe try and bring myself out of this funk and hopefully fingers crossed tomorrow will be better I have a long day at the salon and i'm gonna need some positive vibes if i'm gonna get through with it <laughs> class I could have been a contender I could have been somebody I could have been somebody there's just so much regret in this scene and so much lost time and, and that's what scares me you have all these dreams and ideas that you carry with you from your childhood and and some you pursue and, and others they just kind of get left behind because time just moves on I always felt like 30 was the finish line Every year that goes by, the further and further away I feel from that finish line and from achieving my goals, and, and, and that's why I'm afraid of turning third. Good morning, day three of my positivity challenge. So last night was really hard, and I had kind of a meltdown, but it needed to happen because I was able to talk through some things um, with my husband. He was able to just walk me through a lot of the things that were bothering me and um it really put a lot of things in perspective every now and then i get in this space where i just get really down about progress but last night i realized um 
that I've been really hard on myself and I'm not recognizing how far that I've come and I have a problem with never being satisfied. I say it a lot that it's not a destination, it is a journey, but I say it to convince myself, I think. I really think that I need to practice a lot more gratitude about where I'm at currently. I think that I need to give myself a break from a lot of distractions that I have, a lot of noise that I've been allowing into my life, and we will be much better off. I just want to let you guys know that I'm feeling much better and we are going to have a good day. Talk to you later. I look at this passage and unfortunately, a lot of times in the past I would look at verse 26 and I would look at Jesus' response to the, the disciples and I believe I would look at it wrong. In the past, I would look at it as if Jesus were scolding the disciples, like seriously, you've watched me do all these things and now you're going to be afraid? You have little faith. Why are you so afraid? See, I wonder if I was looking at that scripture all wrong for years. And that's just me wondering. I wonder if Jesus was smiling when he said it. I wonder if he just had a great big smile on his face. But I wonder if in that moment he was just trying to teach them to trust him more. Trusting that his smile would be the non-anxious presence that they need in the time of the storm. See, many of us, we chase peace. And to gain a non-anxious presence, it doesn't mean that there's not going to be elements of our life that are unpeaceful. See, peace doesn't come from finding lakes with no storms. It comes from finding Jesus in the boat. Peace doesn't come from finding lakes with no storms. It comes when you have Jesus in the boat. John Oatberg said this. He said, it is God's presence, not comfortable circumstances, that brings people to the best version of themselves. It is day six or seven. I'm not even sure yet. I quit vlogging because I had actually given up on this video concept. I had gotten it in my mind that no one wanted to see me being negative for 20 minutes straight and it wasn't going to help anyone. So I just decided to scratch the video concept. With that being said, I went to church on Sunday and I heard the message that I just shared with you guys. It was in that moment that it became very, very abundantly clear that I have been relying on myself way too much and not relying on God. I loved the part that he said about seeking peace because I am always seeking peace. And these are things that I already know. These are things that a lot of us already know but it has to click you know it has to really sink in and i'm really happy to say that it finally clicked for me you can't force positivity you can't force peace those are byproducts of living in your truth living for the right reasons and living for god yes you might have some semblance of peace and happiness otherwise but they're going to be kind of fleeting i decided to go ahead and put this video out because this was a big lesson for me this week. And maybe you guys are struggling with this too, but I want you to know that it is okay to let go. You don't have to micromanage every single thing in your life. Fingers crossed I don't have to relearn this lesson because I know how easy it is to fall back into similar patterns. But I really am gonna practice letting go. I'm gonna focus on the things that I can change. I'm gonna let go of all the things that I can't and lean into him a little bit more. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, oh my gosh, you deserve a cookie or a medal or some kind of prize for sure. But you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. You're my favorite. Peace and love.